Hey Chris, as you're getting close to fight time, you know this fight could easily carry any other UFC pay-per-view. Uh, do you feel that the light heavyweight title fight is being overshadowed a little bit just by the way that Conor McGregor is able to sell a fight? This is it being overshadowed? Yes. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, this is a fight that's been in the making for almost a year. It's one of the biggest fights of all time. Uh, so of course it is. Chris, you have a tough fight ahead of you, but do you feel that your body can back, get back into shape so you can fight on that New York card in April? Is that a goal of yours? You know, it's in the back of my head to fight on that card in April, uh, but honestly, though, the first and foremost is, is right now. Ooh, we gotta be crap out of this guy. Yeah! But you seem very calm this week. Has that always been your demeanor? Is it? Is it more so this week, kind of uh, just very relaxed? You know, I think uh, the only time I wasn't relaxed, and I was trying to pretend I was relaxed, was my first fight with Anderson Silva. It was the first time I was on any pay per view, uh, let alone headlining or uh, headlining pay per view against Anderson Silva. So I just tried to pretend I was calm, but I was, I was going crazy. Um, after that, it became you know I, I gained experience because that first fight with Anderson was at the MGM. And, you know, so since then, I just, I had three more fights, I think, after that, at the MGM or in Vegas. So I just got used to being here and um, media and all that stuff, and just kind of what I expect.